firmly believe that the more information we have about our two countries, uh, the better off we both will be. It doesn't mean we're going to agree, but the, the worst thing that can happen in terms of U.S.-Russian relations is misunderstanding or misinformation. Okay. Mr. And, Falcon, uh, and additional question, Russian government uh, said it's uh, measures, uh, but it's mirror measures, you know, uh, so yeah. it's because of Russia today, it says. so what, what, what do we have to do to stop this, you know, ping pong story? Uh, that I don't know, to be honest, but I, what is your because I'm not involved in policy making anymore, so... I couldn't predict that. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mafal, what's your impression about the um, ambassador visit here to Stanford? And uh, uh, what, so, what are your feelings? So, is this the important, important channel to yes. like to, to, to uh, I I very much appreciate that Ambassador Antonov came to Stanford. Uh, I firmly believe uh, that the job of an ambassador anywhere uh, is to engage with civil society is to engage with non-governmental organizations, to engage with university students, uh, just like he's doing today. And I hope he'll continue to do that. I hope he'll meet with the Democratic Party, uh, that he'll meet with the opposition, and that the opposition will meet with him. I think that's a, a part of his job. So far he has been rejected uh, yeah. the request to meet with the congressman. Yes. Uh, what, what's your comment on that? I disagree with that decision. I, I will encourage, I have many friends in the U.S. Congress, mm -hmm. and tr including the top leadership uh, mm -hmm. on the Democratic side, and I will, I just learned that today, I didn't know that, but I think it's important for people to meet. Now I can explain why there's all this anxiety about it, mm -hmm. uh, given what happened today uh, to Mr. Flynn, but um, my, ver my firm personal view, right, I'm, I don't represent anybody, I, mm -hmm. I'm just a professor these days, uh, is we want to increase contacts between our governments and between our societies. And as a former, as a former ambassador, um, could you evaluate how how challenging is the task of Mr. Antonov and Mr. Huntsman in Moscow in this situation in today's? Well, it was challenging when I was ambassador. Uh, let's be let's be honest. There were many times when meetings I wanted, including at universities, were were not allowed because it was considered dangerous to have me speak to students. Uh, so I, just as back then, I think that was the wrong decision from the government. Uh, thankfully, uh, nobody can call me from the White House and tell me who to host or not at Stanford. That's We're, we're an independent uh, organization. But I think it's a big mistake to not have contacts. And I want to be clear, it doesn't mean we're going to agree. But uh, you only know where your real disagreements are if you interact with your counterpart. Uh, and right now there is not enough interaction between our governments, between our militaries, between our NGOs, and between our political leaders, including in the Congress and the state doing. And Will you suggest your friends in Congress to meet Mr. Antonov? Yes, I'll, I'll put it on Twitter right now. Is America, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is America the enemy of uh, Russia? What do you think? Uh, that's not a word I, I feel comfortable using. Or Russia, enemy of America? What do you think? Well, you have to ask Ambassador Antonov that. <laughs> we have some serious disagreements. I would, let's be clear about that. 